called my breast. Ahead of my eyes and squelched under my armpit lies my breast, Anno Domini, 1979. And the bells tolled that day as my breast was captured in a cup resembling some more something that I drank tea from. But hey, it was a forerunner for a preparation for being classed by weary wayfarers that passed along my road. But oh dear, oh brother, oh breast, oh breast, it is lost, nay squashed, alas, amongst my right, right fleshy, dimply armpit. Have my eyes become tired of seeking this melon? Well, maybe it's just a sort of like wrinkly passion fruit, but still, dear sir, dear sir, and dear madam, still I find it, think it juicy and ready. But who oh breast, oh breast, wherefore art thou gone? Hast thou feast upon another body? Dost thou care to dine upon the sweaty mites of another person's armpit hairs rather than feel the soft, well, a little rough-spoken touch of a human voice as they nibble words and make my melons ready for harvesting milk? I do appreciate, I am rather robust and fruity and the flesh does adorn upon my belly upon most peculiar places, but wait, dear audience, I will bow just, just a moment and look upon the floor and see if I may spy the wrinkly but daring breast. <laughs> so I my stomach rather under my folds that I do think are symmetry and, dare I say, rather nice and helpful wedges. Got you, go. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, I want to see you before you become a pimple. Oh, oh, please speak to me. Oh, do I not feel, hold on, do I not feel a pulsating mass around my back? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, long live my breast. Oh, may she reign forever, together, together at last. As I speak, I can feel my arm bringing my baby to me. Oh, it is someone. Oh, is this someone else's? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I think not. Oh, but baby, I have missed you. Oh, may I please take part in our final communion of breast milk that has sated my child. I see it drips upon the ground to fertilise the sweaty drugs of love. Oh, farewell, dearest. Oh, I will miss you, but I promise you I will caress you with some soft silk. Because do you remember once upon the, the, once upon the sun you used to bear yourself rather cheekily? And also, I will not forget to protect you with very nice warm clothing which will protect you from the wind of time. Oh, but please come visit my eyes once in a while. Dearest press so kind. Thank you. <laughs>